Hi, I'm Crystal. Um, I have a 17 year old son living with me. He's been living here with me since 2012. Basically I live in a studio flat which is basically a posh term for a bedsit. It's one big room and it's a living room and bedroom in one, a small bathroom and small kitchen. Now, when David first came down, we were put on the housing list. We, we applied for the housing list, David and I did. And we were bidding for properties. Then uh, my mum and dad got a place because dad had a heart attack. But then me and David were taken off the register and we were placed on an inactive register. And I, it, we are classed as overcrowded and as having no bedroom, but the council will not move us. Um, so basically, my son has no bedroom, he has no room to study, and we have to watch each other change our clothes because there's no, or the only place to change is the bathroom, which has a lock on. Um, our front door is shaking like someone's tried to get in, and all, all that has happened was someone came out and put a back lock on. They didn't fix the door problem, so our front door is shaking. Whenever I go and ask for something to be done or, or ask for some help, nobody helps David or I. So basically David has come down with a nasty cold and I am going to Canada House for my mental health. This has caused me stress since 2002 onwards. The postman has just been. I was informed that even with Leslie Wood's letter at Go Train, they will not put us on the housing register to move. Even though we are overcrowded, we are not a priority. So I'm going to request a local councillor comes out here and see the living conditions that me and David are living in. I have a letter about an Amigo loan. I don't take out loans. Loan sharks and loans get you into trouble. I have catalogues from Adagio, explore the, your surroundings in the most relaxing way imaginable on foot because I can't drive, that's really funny that is. And Smith's Toy Superstores, hey let's play. Hey is a photograph album I used to have um, with glamour photos on. Um, not nude, just glamour. And someone's gained access to my laptop and stole photographs. Um, it doesn't really matter. They've probably gone all the way around the net anyway. And no one knew. So that doesn't bother me. The fact that, um, that we are li left to live in conditions like this in Great Britain and nobody is listening to us and there's far worse out there I understand that and I know we're not a priority and David has got a roof over his head, yes but he hasn't got a bedroom of his own he hasn't got a study room and it's caused tremendous arguments and strain on both of us and you know who do you go to next? I mean what have we done to deserve all this cruel mistreatment? 